Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews, back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is a beer from Burlington Beer Company. They are out of Williston, Vermont. This is the Study Hall. It's a maple coffee amber ale, clocking in at 5.5% alcohol. I have never had it. Pretty excited about this one. Burlington Beer Company makes a lot of great beers. I've had a lot of amazing barrel-aged stouts and barley wines, as well as some really amazing IPAs, juicy IPAs. <clears throat> so never had a amber ale from them. A little bit lighter style, a little bit lower alcohol than the stuff that I'm usually drinking from them. So let's go ahead, crack open the can, pour it up, see what we are working with here. It's a nice brown appearance. Maple Coffee Amber Ale. So the appearance is it's brown. I'm not seeing any red. It's just mostly brown, but it is clear. You hold it up to the light. You can see through it. About a two-finger khaki to tan. I would say tan, actually. Tan-colored head. Some pretty tightly knit bubbles. A few bigger bubbles as well, but it's got almost a creamy look to the appearance with the head there the aroma wow maple and coffee you get that sweet maple syrup type aroma and then the coffee comes through right after that a little bit of roasted malt a lot of roast from the coffee and a lot of sweetness from that maple it smells really good it's uh it's like pancakes and coffee in the morning Imagine waking up and being served a hot stack of flap, jap, uh, flap jacks with some butter and maple syrup on them and a hot cup of coffee sitting right next to it. That is exactly what this smells like. It smells really good. It smells like breakfast in a glass. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. The maple syrup comes through initially, but it's not thick, syrupy. You get the flavor without a really thick mouthfeel. The coffee comes through right, you know, the, as soon as you get through that first maple hit, it leads into a significant black coffee type note, adds a significant amount of bitterness, which cuts through that maple syrup sweetness immediately. So the balance is pretty nice because you get hit with the sweet maple syrup notes and then immediately that bitter coffee to balance it out the body with this is pretty light at 5.5 percent super drinkable carbonation is on the medium side nice head retention nice glass lacing there this is really good if you like pancakes in the morning and a uh, Hot cup of Joe, I think you're going to be very pleased with this beer because this really represents that well. No alcohol presence. The finish is pretty short-lived. I, I was thinking it might linger a little bit with the maple syrup especially. That tends to be a, a lingering type flavor. Same thing with coffee sometimes, that lingering bitterness and that astringent note that you get from... Uh, black coffee, but it's really quite nice on the finish. It, it dries out the palate a little bit, and you want to go right back in for another sip. This is a very, very enjoyable beer. A little bit of the roasted malt character is coming through in the form of toasted bread in the middle of the sip, but mostly it's the roast from the coffee, and the maple syrup, sweetness, your two main flavors and that's I guess to be expected based off of the name of the beer study hall maple coffee amber ale so the maple and the coffee are definitely shining through with this one I do think it's a nice balance though it's not too sweet it's not too bitter they did a really good job of balancing out all those flavors you get a little bit of that bready malt in the middle of the sip like I said a little bit of toasted bread to let you know that you're drinking a beer the carbonation's nice the body's light and refreshing and drying on the finish 
I'm going to go with a 94 out of 100, a pretty solid A beer from Burlington Beer Company. If you like Amber L's, if you like coffee and maple syrup, I think you're really going to be pleased with this beer. They did exactly what they set out to do with it. Uh, it's nicely balanced. So what more can I say? 94 out of 100 for the Study Hall Maple Coffee Amber Ale from Burlington Beer Company. If you can find Burlington Beer Company beers in your area, this one is definitely worth a try. So buy it, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.